Hello, hello. Happy Sunday. It's good to be with you all again. I wanted to show you something. Behind me here are the bunk bed. Da, 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 da. And if I can get it in the screen, here's the trundle. So we've got sheets and mattresses and bedspreads and everything cool. What something I thought was cool, a little awesome small thing, but that makes me super happy, is that when we bought these beds, I wanted green, I wanted something fun. And I pulled out these old bed spreads that we used to have when the kids had twin beds. Now they have full beds at the other house. And they matched so perfectly and just made it even brighter and more fun in here. So, I mean, I don't even know if I'll paint the walls just because there's so much color here. This white kind of looks good with it. I don't know. We'll see. But it's fun. It's cool. I'm excited. We got things rolling here. And uh, we're moving. I'm moving forward. And I love that feeling. A couple days ago, past couple of days actually, is kind of back down again on my down, feeling down and trying to get myself back up. And so I'm feeling better today. <clears throat> I always feel better after I go to church. I just always do because I'm always filled with the Spirit again and I'm just filled with, with hope. And there's always amazing lessons. In fact, the lesson today was on sacrifice. And it really got me thinking about things. And it got me thinking about my will and about obedience. Um, and it was good. It was a good reminder. And I want to share just the takeaway that I had as I pondered and as I was participating in the lesson and as I pondered a little bit later today on those things. Uh, it made me think of, when I first think of sacrifice, I think, of it being like a dreaded kind of thing. But then I thought about it and it's really... Everything that we sacrifice, whether it's our time or our money, to, to commit to something greater, to help someone else in need, all, all of that usually brings blessings and, and good benefits in the wake of those decisions and those, those sacrifices that we make. And so in the end, it's really deciding what you want and working towards that goal and just letting go of things that aren't important. When, we, when I think of God, I hope most people in the world see him this way, is a very loving, kind God. and But he's also created all this for us and given us everything. So everything we have has come from him. And even though we may work and toil and, and make things and, and become successful or do different things, all of the materials, all of the all of this, our body, everything was was given to us by him and created by him. So in reality, all of this is on loan. That's what we talked about in Sunday school. I mean, it, like, you know, the only thing we really have that is not his is our will, our agency, our choices, what we decide, what we're going to do with, with our lives and who we want to be. And everything else is given to us. And I think the sacrifice is to let go of our ways for his ways, our will for his will. And I think sometimes we think it is a drudgery or like, I want to go party, I want to go drink, I want to go do whatever I want to do. And, and we think God is keeping us from that. God is keeping me from being who I want to be. It's like, no, you can be whoever you want to be. He's only saying... This, in the end, is what's going to make you happy. You get to decide. And the beautiful thing about giving our will to God is saying, I love you more than the world. I love you more than anything. I, I, I choose your ways, whether, you know, your perfection and your, your wisdom and your love over my limited knowledge, my limited ability, my weaknesses. And I know, like, through that, if I trust in you and I do those things, I will receive greater knowledge, more wisdom, more love. I'll be able to give more um, and eventually become more like him. So I just think I want to give my will to him. And it is a sacrifice because we have to let go of things that, you know, even the praise of the world or, you know, it's just, it's a difficult thing. But it's, I think it's really, really important to recognize this and understand it. And when we are be obedient to God, we're showing our love and our trust and faith that he knows what he's doing. <laughs> I 
um, if, he, if he's the perfect, loving, most loving God and our Father, our truly our Father in heaven, why would he not have our best interest in mind? He would. He would. He would want us to become the best we could be and be happy, have joy. And he's going to show us the way. It reminds me of this example of like a teacher trying to teach a student. And the student won't listen, says, I got this, I'm going to do this. And, you know, whatever it is he's learning, and he's messing up, he's not getting it right. Um, and the teacher's just patiently waiting, you know, for him to come around and be like, okay, I'm not getting this. Can you please show me? And it's like, I think that's like God. He's like saying, I know how to do this. Let me teach you and let me show you the best way. But we, we kind of get in our own way because we no, I got my own idea. I'm going to do my thing. And, um, and, and it just reminds me of that. It's like, yeah, I just got to humble myself here and let, let him teach me. And so I'm going to try to be, I'm really going to be trying to give my will to him and, and and figure out what I to continue doing that I am doing and what changes I might need to make or things I need to let go of and sacrifice for something better. It reminds me of this quote, um, and I can't remember who it was. I wish I could remember who, who it was that quoted it, but it's, it's not coming to me right now. But I, the quote is, you can have what you want or you can have something better. And that has just stuck with me. Like, yeah, I can have what I want. Because I can. I can make it happen. Almost anything. Any of us can. Or we can let go of some of the things we think we want or we think that are, are the best things and go for something better. And, and we might have to be patient and it might not come, come in this life, but it will be better for us now and in the future to choose to give our will to God, to love Him more than anything. Whew, and that is, that is just challenging. That's hard. So that, that's going to be my goal this week, and today I'm going to be doing some planning. And I'm going to really try to focus and understand what it is that I can do this week to do more of His will, to do more of His work, rather than continue. Because I, uh, I have a tendency to be like, I'm going to plan this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. I think maybe I'll just say, okay, this is what I'm planning, is this what you want? And just and, and listen. And see, you know, where my heart and my gut takes me, where the spirit leads, because I really want to make my life more in congruent with his way of doing things because I just know it's better. Even though I don't sometimes like to admit it, I know it is. And it's hard to let go sometimes of those things that we think we really need. Approval of others. Um relationships. I mean it could be anything. And and just putting our church and having the faith that it'll be the way it needs to be. And we'll learn. And I'm excited for things I'm going to learn and the changes that will come. Wow, I mean, it's awesome. But thanks for tuning in, guys. That's, that's what I'm learning right now. And I'm feeling much better today, feeling happier than I did the past couple of days, which were difficult for me. But I'm back up and I'm back at it. Uh, I just recorded a song um, on my other YouTube channel, Lisa Neal. It's, it's called Lisa Neal. And I just put music. I like to, to do original songs, sometimes covers. And I did a cover of the song Crush by David Archuleta. I always liked that song. And it was a 10-year anniversary um, of that song. And he did like a stripped-down version. And it just made me think, oh, I want to try this. So I, I tried it. And, and so I always feel good after I, I engage in music. And again, that's my fourth goal, to make it more a part of my life. And so when I do that, I always feel better. So if you want to check that out, you can. Anyways, have a good week, you guys, and I'll be seeing you in a few days. Take care. Bye. Love you.